Hi, let's take a look at New Window 11 integrated VST Dolby Atmos renderer, starting with the signal flow. You can use a Mac or Windows computer. In order to fully take advantage of the Dolby Atmos renderer, an audio interface with 128 outputs is required. So in this case, I will use a Yamaha AIC 128D Dante PCIe card, which offer 128 inputs and output channels. Under Audio Connection, Output tab, create the main output bus, in this example 7.1.4, as well as a stereo output for banal audio playback. Both output buses should be set to Not Connected. Under the Audio Connection, Group Effects tab, a 7.1.2 group channel is required to route all the channel-based tracks or bed channels within the project. In this example, I've also created a third order on these Sonic group channels that I called HOA3 to convert this 7.1.4 configuration into Ambisonics and then to stereo bandwall for headphone monitoring. Finally, on the audio connection control room tab, I've created a 7.1.4 monitor connected to the Yamaha AIC 128 output ports. Now, new Windows 11 integrated Dolby Atmos VST renderer plugin should be inserted pre or post fader on the main output bus, in this example, 7.1.4 main output channel. A total of 128 audio objects are represented on the VST renderer, which also include a mute all, bed, and object channels, down mixing options, metering, and an object view section which display the position of the audio objects in the room. Now both 7.1.4 and 5.1.4 configuration, which add height to the traditional 7.1 and 5.1 surround format, can be monitored through New Window 11 control room, which offers speaker solo options, down mixing options, as well as control functionalities, for the overall signal coming from the integrated VST Dolby Atmos renderer. Now from New Window 11, the signal can be processed through a DSP processor and or power amplifiers to fine tune your speaker configuration in the monitoring room. Banal playback monitoring through headphone is also available directly from New Window 11. Finally, Yamaha Nuage offer advanced controls of New Window 11 within the monitoring room. Now, New Window 11 integrated Dolby Atmos VST renderer only supports 48 kHz project at this time, and the buffer size of the audio interface, in this example the Yamaha AIC 128 Dante Accelerator card, should be set to 512 samples. The Dolby Atmos renderer supports 2.0, 5.1, 7.1, 5.1.4, and 7.1.4 speaker configurations. Now the main advantages are the flexible busing and monitoring that the integrated Dolby Atmos renderer and control room offers, as well as the ability to import and export ADM BWF, which stands for Audio Definition Model, Broadcast Wave Format, which can be used with any software with ADM BWF import export capabilities. So let's take a look at the ADM authoring for Dolby Atmos window. The ADM authoring window can be opened under Project, ADM authoring for Dolby Atmos, or under File, Export, ADM. You could also create key commands under Edit, Key Commands, ADM Editor, or create workspaces to save and recall different project windows configurations, including plugins. Once open, as long as the VST renderer plugin is inserted on the main output bus, you will be able to select the renderer for Dolby Atmos. Once selected, make sure that AutoConnect Object Buses is checked for automatic connections, and you can then add and remove objects and bed channels at will. Now, the authoring for Dolby Atmos window also has a trim and down mixing editor, an adjustable banal render mode for both objects and bed channels, and an object group editor to add and remove different group types based on the project. Once you have assembled the channels you'd like to export, click on Export ADM file. Now let's take a look at the functions of the ADM authoring for Dolby Atmos. 
ADM authoring will automatically set the VST multipanner to the correct mode when adding a bed or object channel, automatically create and send an object channels to the 7.1.4 bus at 0 dB, and add bed and object channels to the VST Dolby Atmos renderer accordingly. So let's take a look at the workflow in this new Windows 11 project set up to a 7.1.4 speaker configuration. I've created a few channels, a few bed channels here, as well as different type of object channels, uh, mono channels, stereo, a quad channels, and a 5.0 object channel. Now all bed channels should be routed to the 7.1.2 group channels here, and all object channels should be routed to the 7.1.4 main bus. Now I've created a workspace for both VST Dolby Atmos renderer and ADM authoring for Dolby Atmos window open. And you can see that the renderer is set to 7.1.4 and there is no active bed or audio object at this time. If we look at the ADM authoring window, it is set to render for Dolby Atmos I will now add the bed channels, select the source track, 7.1.2 group track, and now you can see the renderer has locked and framed 10 bed channels. Now if I recall my project only window using workspaces, and I wanted to add object channels, I can simply select one or multiple object tracks within the project, and if I recall the ADM and renderer window, I can simply under Function select Create Object from Selected Tracks. As you can see, all the selected object tracks are automatically bus and added to the Dolby Atmos renderer. Now if I open the VST multipanner on one of the object tracks, you can see now that the VST multipanner is set to Object Mode and bus to the Dolby Atmos renderer. Now if for example I wanted to move this 5.0 object track to the bed, I can simply remove it from the ADM window, and if I go back to my project window, I will then need to bus this channel to the 7.1.2 group channel. Now if I open the VST multipanner for this track, you can see that this channel is now set to bed mode. Now in order to monitor 7.1.4 Dolby Atmos project in panel through headphone using new Windows 11 built-in VST Ambi Decoder plugin, you will first need to send signal from the 7.1.4 main bus to the Ambisonic group channel, which in turn will encode and decode the 7.1.4 speaker configuration and to a third order Ambisonics and then to stereo banal. Now new window 11 new supervision plugin can be inserted into any channels within the project and offer many metering options, including loudness levels and ambisonics. Finally, multiple group beds can be used with the integrated Dolby Atmos renderer, and the monitor source feature of New Windows Control Room can also be used to monitor different group channels. So, for example, if I play a segment here, I can just have the music, or just the effects, the ambience, or maybe just a dialogue. Help me. I can also combine, Help me. for example, dialogue plus ambience, or Help add the music, me. or the full mix. Thanks for watching.